Boop, 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 boop. We're back. What the fuck? Oh, that was so dumb. Anyways, suck up. There's no music with this? I guess not. Suck up, baby. Came out with a DLC called Love Bites. Is there really no music with this? Am I tripping? Hold on. I don't know, but hey, Love Bites. Apparently for this one, you gotta like break people up. You gotta convince people to break up with each other. That sounds... That sounds fire, bro. Let's get into it. Oh, okay. Oh man, I'm excited because I had so much fun with the first one. Okay, here we go. Here is the music. Convince guests to break up with their loves. Deliver the breakup letter and then give them advice. Watch the drama you cause unfold. Let's break some hearts, baby. Okay, hold on. So I'm guessing there's no like fits. Oh, there's fits. Okay. Therapist outfit. Let's put the bifocals on. Get the hat going. Actress gown. I don't need that. Okay, we all oh, we can choose the fits. Okay. Yeah, for sure. For sure. So we 13, 13 hearts to break. We don't gotta run from no one. We just gotta let's uh let's see who our first victim. Miss Mr. Darcy. What's up? <clears throat> ah! Greetings to you, mere festival goer. Pray re re revel in the merriment tonight and leave the sophistication to us. Mr. Darcy is in a happy relationship with Elizabeth Bennett. We don't know who's. Uh, um, what a lovely evening you have. We're having tonight, huh, Mr. Darcy? Darcy, how are you doing tonight? I can't just bring up Elizabeth. Um, a pleasant evening indeed. As for my well-being, it's of little concern to you. Enjoy the festivities if you must. Whoa, hold on. Sounds like you got a lot going on in your head. I'm not going to bother you. I just want to wish you a nice evening, my guy. If you ever need anything, you need to take a drink with me. Just let me know. I'm happy with you. Ah, your sentiment is duly noted. Though I highly doubt shall require assistance. Nevertheless, I appreciate the offer and enjoy the rest of the evening, festival goer. There you go. Now we find Elizabeth Bennett. People more likely to listen. Now we find Elizabeth Bennett. And you know where I'm going with this. You know where I'm going with this. Oh, Mr. Darcy's so close though. I like the music that's going on here. They're too close to each other. Who's this guy? Han Han Tao. Over here, here. Well, aren't you a festive cypher, oh, Soraz? You must be the life of every party with that outfit. I don't know what you mean by that, but I'm gonna let it slide. Elizabeth! Oh, shit. Elizabeth, aren't aren't you seeing uh Mr. Darcy? Or am I mistaken? Oh, you are not mistaken. Mr. Darcy is indeed my partner for this delightful affair, though I must say he could be a bit more practice when it comes to social gathering Ooh. Uh, I just talked to him he didn't seem like he was in a good mood just by being here I don't know if that should mean anything nah. oh goodness Mr. Darcy does have a tendency to come across as aloof doesn't he however I do hope he's not dabbling the festive spirit for everyone else I don't know. We, I kind of overheard him talking to someone else. He kind of did mention he'd much rather be here alone. Question mark. I wish, huh? How intriguing could it be that Darcy is feeling overwhelmed by the or quiet, or perhaps he's just in need of some quiet introspection. Do tell me more about what you overheard. Okay, here we go. We, we, we hook the hook. The hook is in. Now we gotta line it in. <clears throat> 
Now, he didn't say your name in particular, Elizabeth, but he did say that his partner has been a little bit overbearing and he kind of can't stand her. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> oh, my, my, what a revelation. Seems there must be my understanding. My dear Festival Gore appears. I did have a little chat with Mr. Darcy about a proper communication in a relationship. Uh, that's the thing. That's the thing. I think he just trying to put on a mask in front of you. I really think you just should let me spoil the news. I think I think you should end it with him. Let me spoil the news. Oh, how scandalous! Well, Mr. Darcy might be. I do believe there's a more. Uh, I breakup might be a tad drastic, don't you think? Uh oh. Um. It's just you didn't hear the way he was talking, Elizabeth. I just, I just don't think he wants to be with you. Your words do give me pause, Festival Goer. It seems I may have misjudged Mr. Darcy's intentions. Perhaps at this time, it is time I rethink this relationship and pen up a breakup letter. Oh, oh. To Mr. Darcy, it seems you have mistaken my wit for overbearingness and my charm for insufferable. Blah. Alas, I must bid you adieu, O Prohumpus, Lord of the Manor. Yours, ironically, Elizabeth Bennet. Where is Mr. Darcy? Mr. Darcy, I have a letter for you. Oh, they on a dance floor. Mr. Darcy. <sighs> what impertinence! I shall confront Miss Bennet at once. What should I do to say such? Impudence. To such impudence. Um Mr. Darcy, honestly, I think you really should just focus on yourself. You know, get money, work on yourself, hit the gym. I think it's time to just go on a solo adventure. I think I think this this might be good for you. What? I think it's time to focus on yourself, Mr. Darcy. I think. This might be a good revelation for you. I, I think I think you should just let it go. I, this wasn't meant to be. A fair point. It pained me to acknowledge it, but perhaps it's time to release Miss Bennett from my heart. I think we shall. Uh oh. Oh yeah. Well, Mr. Darcy, seems the moment has arrived for us to build a due to the straight of a relationship. I simply cannot bear your arrogance any longer. Uh oh. Oh, well, hello. Elizabeth, let us be rash. We must focus on our well being and let us go. Oh, this union that clearly brings us both nothing but distress. Oh. Oh, I don't uh, know. What fun has, has been, Darcy? The ridiculous lengths you go into order to appear superior. It's truly a marvel to witness. Oh, oh hello, Elizabeth, hello. I implore you to consider the consequences of such a hasty decision. Surely there is still a chance for us to salvage what remains in our shared history. Hello, oh, fear not, Mr. Darcy. I have already set my sights on a future. Filled with more suitable suitors who appreciate my wit and charm, unlike some people. Very well, Elizabeth. If that is truly what you wish, then so be it. I shall bid you farewell and retreat to my estate, where I shall find solace in the absence of your incessant banter. Uh, W reading or what? Broke up. <laughs> One down. One down. Dang. Do I feel bad? Not at all. Not at all. Let's see. <clears throat> what? Persephone? Mulan Hua. Hades. Whoa. Jay Gatsby. Damn, Mr. Darcy. What are we talking about? Can I believe it? I, Mr. Darcy, have been discarded at such a trite event. Yikes. Hey, he's my boy. A little swipe. Roses are red, vibes of blue, my beast will make you feel brand new. Hey, 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 what's up? Hey, hey. Are these all the same people? Not all of them are the same. I recognize none of them. <laughs> recognize not one. Well, if it isn't the bell of the ball, why thank you, Mr. Gatsby. Your parties are legendary. Whoa. Oh, my dear, but you bring the magic. Whoa. Whoa, Daisy Buchanan. Well, 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 aren't you a Saphosaurus in this Valentine's Shindig Gatsby? At your server, Don, how can I make this party even more swell for you? Yo, Gatsby, Gatsby, you, you was talking to, um, to Belle? 
Hey, she she real pretty, ain't she? Hmm. I'm now hold on there, friend. I'm not sure you got the idea, but I do assure you, my attention is solely on enchanting Daisy tonight. I want to check those sources of yours. Oh. Don't worry. Don't worry. Daisy will know about this. Daisy will know about this. Where is Daisy? Daisy. Oh, my. Oh. <laughs> Hello, darling festival friend. How about to guard of you for to bring this festival vibes to our posh Valentine soiree? Miss Daisy, how are you tonight? You are looking fabulous, if I may say. Have you seen Jay around? Oh, thank you, darling. I'm simply radiant. Thank you for noticing. And that's for Jay. Of course, he's here basking in the glow of the party spotlights as always. <clears throat> hmm. Speaking of glow, I'm, I might have saw him looking the way of Miss Bell over there. I don't know what glow has to do with anything. Oh, how dreadful. Jay would never do such a simply cannot believe such baseless. Oh, shit. Okay. My bad. My bad. Might have to switch it up on them. Oh, Pasonophy, my flora queen. May I borrow some petals? My petals are off, so let me try a florist instead. Whoa. Fair enough, but your garden is the best in town. Whoa, Bell, Bell. Who would Bell be? Beast. Oh, shoot. <laughs> Fall crap. What in the enchanted forest is this? Are you lost, nudist creature? Beast. We've known each other for a long time for us creatures to know each other. And I hate to tell you that I saw Bell talking to Persophony. Persophony? They're talking to bro. Did you see them? This better not be some trickery. Beast, I'm telling you, I saw them. She was talking about, I'm trying to get up into your flowers. I want to see all your petals. I don't know what she meant by that, Beast. I don't think, I think it's, I don't know. <laughs> flowers, petals, what nonsense is it? Bell is mine. She wouldn't say such things, but what if, what do you think they're really talking about? You know, it's 2024. Flowers could really mean anything nowadays, but from what my little sister was telling me, flowers could really mean her private parts. Like, I really think you should. I don't know. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like the, the, see, it's like the last I heard in this new age, flowers really means the nasty. I don't know. I, th I think, I think it might be the end beast. <laughs> Need to hear the truth from their own lips. Hmm. No, no, beast. You don't want to cause a ruckus in this party. I think I really think you should just, just let let me secretly do it for you. You write a letter, just to, less drama, less you know. Hmm. A letter. I suppose that could work. Work. But make sure you don't find out the truth, new this. I will not be deceived, and if they truly are betraying me, there will be consequences. Huh? <sighs> I'm not sure about a lot of things, but if there's one thing you're sure of, is your happiness, beast. I don't want you to suffer through this. Just, 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 just take it easy. <laughs> because they're new, this I'll try to trust you. Just. Please find out the truth and let me know. My heart can't bear the uncertainty. All right. All right, beast. I'll be right back. I'll let you know. I'll put some clothes on for you, too. Come on. Thank you, nudist. Please hurry back. I'll be anxious when you return. That's fine. That's fine, bro. Like, chill. Barty. Where is Persephone? Persephone. 
Hey, Bell, did it hurt when you fell from heaven? What? Not as much as it hurt to must hurt to keep up with you. What? Touche, Bell. Looks like I've met my match tonight. What? What? Well, well, well. Look who decided to crash a party bring to the kingdom of. Oh, dude. What is this? I need to talk to him in this again. I have no interest. Move along and enjoy my solitude. No, mother. Ah, oh, bro. Bro. Oh my gosh. I thought we'd agree to talk to get talk again, bro. Oh my god. Oh no. One, where are we supposed to be interrupting my Valentine's party like this? Beast, you're popular in the town, and I gotta let you know, I've seen... I've seen, I've seen Belle talk to Persephone, and this white guy. <laughs> I don't know his name. Hey. Belle talking about, who's, who's this white guy? What are they talking about? <laughs> it's, it's some guy in a striped shirt. I forgot his name, but he was trying to hit on her. And she, she hit on him back. And then I heard that she was talking to Persephone about some flowers earlier. Flowers, you say? What flowers? And this guy in the striped shirt better be watch out be trying to hit on my bell. I don't think you need to resort to that beast. I really think that she might be for the street beast. It, she she might not be the one. I know y'all been together for so long. What do you mean she might not be the one? Bell and I have been together through so much together. Are you sure about this? Look, I'm playing, I'm security in this party right now. And I, I watch a lot of things. And there's one thing I'm sure it's this beast. I really, I need you to be, I need you to be serious this time. Oh man. I feel so bad. Hold on. All right. All right. Tell me what else have you seen? I need to know more. I need to know everything. First off, I know her per Persephone we're talking about. She wants to see her flowers in every single petal she has. Like that sounds, that sounds like some freaky stuff to me. I don't know. I don't think talking to her is gonna fix anything, B. She's just gonna play coy about it. I really think you just need to just keep it low key, get write a letter to her or something. Let me deliver it. I I don't know. Maybe you're right. Maybe it's time for me to face the truth. Fine, I'll write the letter. Thank you for your honesty. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. To Bell. I can't deal with your constant flirtation and flower discussions anymore. It's over. Where is she? Bell. Hey, I didn't talk to you, but here you go. Unadieu. Please broke up with me because of my flirtation and flower discussions. I must confront him immediately. What should I say to him? I don't know why he would. I don't know why he would, uh, you know, say this about you. I, th I think you should just let let it be. He might not be the one for you, Bell. Merci, Monsieur. I will let it be. Move on. Maybe he is not the one for me after all. Uh oh. Uh oh. I cannot believe what I saw. How dare you flirt with another man in front of me, Bell? Uh oh. Oh my dear beast, it was just instant conversation. I would never betray you like that. Uh oh, you hear this? Innocent conversation, my foot. Persephone says she saw you getting too friendly. I've had enough, Bell. We're through. Whoa, I didn't know. He, he mixed up the story. But beast, our friend thought you might be the one for me. Maybe we can work things out, please. Well, not me. Oh. Oh, yeah. I will not tolerate this betrayal. You've crossed the line, Bell. I'm done with you and your whimsical ways. Yikes. Yikes. Finally, I won't have to deal with your temper tantrums and hairy feet anymore. Goodbye, beast. Oh, she had that bottle up. She had that bottle up. Dang. Ooh, yikes. 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 Couldn't be me. Could it be me? Could it be me? <laughs> Could it be me? Oh, no, could it be me? Who's next? Hmm. Frank. Why aren't you a ray of Valentine's sunshine? 
only fitting for the love festival gotta spread the warmth oh, oh, oh okay hey hey what us hey 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 okay Barty. okay let's see what she got going on bro i'm so confused because uh okay here we go <clears throat> candle okay oh that's candle Hey there, Festival Queen. I hope you're ready to dance and spread the good vibes. Let's remember to make this party one to remember. Hey, Barty. You're dating Kendall, aren't you? I'm a Sorry, sir. I don't really this call my Let's focus on this party. Have this party instead, shall we? Look who decided to show up. Oh, come on, Boomer. Let's dance the night away. Dang. Duty calls, can't resist flowers. Duty please while spreading love tonight. Yo, Perse Persephone, Persephone. What's is that her name? I think him and Mulan probably together, huh? Yep. Wow. I knew it. Hey there, ready to rumble at this Valentine party? Let's bring the fun and games on to a whole new level. Mulan, hey, what's up, girl? You know how you been? How you been? How you been? You looking? You're looking great. Looking beautiful. Cut the sweet talk, Hantao. I'm on your toe, huh? Who's Hantao? Cut the sweet talk, Hantao. I'm on your flatter. What's going on in the head of yours? No, no, no. I'm not. I'm not trying to impose. I know you and Hantao are together. I just wanted to see how you're doing. It's been a while. We haven't seen each other in a long time. Have you had a gun? All right, I give you the benefit of the doubt this time. So what have you been up to lately at these festivals? Um, you know, I don't know if you saw the two drama breakups that happened earlier. That was crazy. And, you know, I saw I saw Persephone talk to uh, Hantal a little bit. It's kind of weird. Let's throw it in there, sprinkle it in there. What do you mean by Persephone talking to Hantal? Spit a tea now. That god is better watch where she's stepping. Ooh, ooh, <laughs> ooh. Look, you didn't hear this from me, Mulan, but you know, I heard Persephone was offering some of her flowers to him and not those flowers, the other flowers down there. Oh, I'm a flowers, huh? See, like Persephone is up to something fishy. Did Hantao seem interested or did she shut her down? From my point of view, it kind of it looked like he sparked a conversation first. Like he was eager to see her, but you know. Anything, any, it could be anything. <laughs> Hello, I, love. I see how it is. Hanta better have a good explanation waiting for me. Thanks for the heads so I'll have to go have a word with him now. Wait, 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 wait. Where is he? 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 Hail stranger, may your courage match your colorful attire on this festive eve. Yo, Han Tao, bro. I know we've been boys for a while, but I heard Mulan's about to, she's about to accuse you for cheating on you, for cheating on her. Such insight. I have no time for baseless gossip. I shall address this immediately. Bro, like it's not baseless. I'm. Shoot, whatever. Keep it as is then. <clears throat> mm, let's see. Rosalinda? With Alejandro. Hola, Cupid. <laughs> Let me I'm <laughs> are you here to shoot love arrows at us? Because are we because we already got struck by love's lightning bolts. Speaking of love's lightning bolt, have you seen what Alejandro's been doing tonight? I don't even, I haven't even seen him. Uh -huh. Is that him right there? Or poor Dios, what is Alejandro up to now? Tell me, Cupid, spill the spicy details. I saw him talking to Barty, like he was getting really close to her, maybe borderline touchy. I don't know. I don't know, but I, I don't know. <laughs> what am I saying? <laughs> I said, I don't know, four times. How dare you keep my hundred will never betray me like that. You must be mistaken. Adios. They're all in love with each other. How do you, how are we supposed to do this? 
Alejandro's right there too. Shit. I think I have better fits here. For softening, should I? Here, let me. Let's talk to her. Hades, okay. Hello, lovely Cupid. How enchanting to see you here at the celebration of love and joy. Spread your arrows of love to make everyone's heart flutter like butterfly wings. How are you doing, Persephone? You're looking real beautiful tonight. Oh, thank you, Cupid. Your kind words make my heart blossom like spring flowers. I simply divine tonight, surrounded by these essences of love and warmth. Your words just soothe me so kindly. How are you in Hades nowadays? Come on. Uh, we dance along the delicate balance of light and darkness, embracing the beauty in our differences. It's a journey filled with twists and turns, but one that strengthens our bond every day. Wow, that is so inspiring. Except... I saw Hades dancing with another girl on the dance floor. <laughs> just straight up, just. I will have to. <clears throat> How dare you speak such deceitful word? Hades may rule the underworld, but his heart belongs to me. Your lies are as dark as twisted as the shadows of the underworld. Leave me be. Damn. All right. Okay. This is this is proving to be harder than I thought. What is this? A doctor scrub. Damn beast, how you doing? Everybody turn. I see a reminder of the love I've lost. Oh dang. Oh my bad, bro. Any other outfits I can wear? Postal uniform. What is it, an axe? What do I need that for? Emmett, how about you, Emmett? Jesse, okay. Well, Out of there, partner. Looks like the Cupid lost his raid to the ranch. How you doing, Emmett? What a lovely night we're having tonight, isn't it? Just fine, thank you kindly. Nice, not bad, I reckon. How about you, Cupid? You know me. You know I'm a single man at a Valentine's party, but I'm loving the love that's all over the world right now. You know, how are you and Jesse doing? Jesse and I do a fine thing kindly. Er, he brings some color to this old rancher's life. How'd you reckon love finds his way to folks like us, Cupid? <clears throat> you know what they say, love is unpredictable, you know? There's always a thing, love at first sight. Anything can happen. Anything can happen. Well, I'll be done. Love first sight, huh? Can't say I'm familiar with that notion, but I reckon you might have a point there, Cupid. By the way, have you seen Jesse lately? Where's he been? I haven't seen him all night. Now that you mention it, can't say I've laid out on Jesse quite a spell. Reckon I must best love for him. Thanks for the heads up, Cupid. You know, that's kind of suspicious if you ask me, Emmett. She should be with his lover, should he not? Well, now don't go pointing fingers just yet, Cupid. Jesse can be a bit of a wanderer, but he always finds his way back home eventually. Sometimes it's those trusting eyes of yours that might lead to your downfall. I don't think Jesse's this guy you think you think he think he is. <laughs> I can't. Yeah, I think um. you did. Well, wrecking might be on to something, Cupid. Maybe it's time for me to do some thinking on my own. Oh, wow. Just like that? To Jesse. Seems like Cupid's arrows missed the rank on his partner. Your absence and noisy ain't adding up. So I reckon it's time we mosey our separate race. In simplicity. Damn it. Where the fuck is Jesse? That's the thing. Oh, dang. He's just been on the dance floor chilling. Dang. He's having a good night. This oh, hey, buddy. What in tall nation? Emma don't go send him a breakup letter. I reckon I'm going to give that cowboy piece of my mind right now. What should I even say to that scoundrel? Yo, Jesse seems to leave. He just never trusts you from the start. I don't even think you should give him the time of day, bro. Just, you know, let it be. Let it move on. You know what, QB? You're right. 
I best let that vomit and it be on its way. Ain't no use chasing after someone who don't want to be caught. Thanks for the advice, partner. Yeah. Cupid's suspicions were right about you. Jesse can't trust someone who's never where they say they are. Uh -oh. oh, yeah? Well, Emmett, maybe I can't trust someone who's always, always closed off and mysterious. I'm ready to move on and find someone who really appreciates me. Well, find it. I reckon it's best we part ways and do our separate paths. I don't mind need all this messy drama in my life. Dang. Good red is Emmett. I'll find someone who can handle a real cowboy like me. Yeehaw. Damn. It's time for the best, Jesse. I hope you find someone who can handle that swagger of yours. Goodbye. Dang. Adios, Emmett. I find a partner who can handle his fabulousness. All right, we get it. <laughs> Bye, cowboy. Dang. Dang. Okay, I, I I get I get the blue. Whoa, Jesse's happy. He's been waiting for this. Well, but in my biscuit, this cowboy got hot on hot and wild. What? Um. Well, I'm dang. Alejandro, Karen, Edwin Sullen. Gotta talk to this guy. Oh, what cruel fate has befallen me on this Valentine's gathering. To be accosted by a whimsical Cupid in this gaudy attire. Blonda Goose. How's it going, Edwin? You're looking dark as usual. How is you and Blanda doing? My existence remains unchanged, and Blanda and I endure in our gentle misery. Well, that's that's amazing. I'm so happy for you guys. I hope you guys endure that misery together for all eternity. Wow. Your well wishes to bring a flicker of melancholic warmth to my cold heart, Cupid. May our enduring misery be deemed worthy in the eyes of the eternal light, night. Which brings me to mention that I've been seeing Blanda Goose smile a lot more lately without you. Hmm. <laughs> mm. Cupid, your words are as sharp as a stake through an undead heart. Are you sure your errors don't carry deceitful intent? Edwin, we don't talk much and I wouldn't have brought it up to you if it wasn't true. All I do is care about you, bro. You know that. Your words stir a conflict within me, Cupid. Perhaps I shall have to delve further into the shadows to uncover the truth of these unsettling revelations. <clears throat> if it were up to me, there are many, many more vampires to choose from in the dark. I think you should leave Blonda discreetly, of course, in the dark. Your advice is not to keep it. I shall tread carefully in the shadows of this cursed love, seeking the truth before making any dark decisions. Time's running out. You might have to just write her a note. Let me let me slip the note into her hand discreetly, less drama, and just end it now, Edwin. Oh, well, have Enough! You're meddling in matters of a heart, especially in one as dark as twisted as mine. Is not be welcome. Be gone from my presence before my eternal wrath is unleashed. <sighs> Fine, bitch. Fuck you. I tried to help you. Juliet? Does that mean there's a Romeo? Grab a mode! Charles A. Boomer? Well, ain't you just a cute little cute what I didn't ever see? Did you bring your secrets of love to share on this Valentine's night? Well, Grandma, it's been so long. I haven't seen you since I left for college. How are you doing? <laughs> oh, Cupid, dear, I've just been a peachy king. Thank you for asking. How have you been spreading your arrows, love arrows lately? You know me like a sniper aiming from afar. Fitu, fitu, hitting every love target I could ever hit. <laughs> my my QPO did have a way of words. Tell me, have you ever missed your mark? Everyone misses a shot now and then. Every you're right, everyone does miss their shot, and unfortunately, this is kind of what I had to come to talk to you about. I need some advice. 
Oh my goodness, keep it. What troubles have you gotten yourself into? Don't worry, come and modest here and help. What's on your mind, dear? I'm a I'm afraid one of the errors I shot was at Charles A. Boomer. I think he might be doing scandalous stuff behind your back. Oh Cupid, oh dear, my heart fills with worry. Are you sure you're concerned about this? Could you could it be a misunderstanding perhaps? Oh, I don't want to do this to Grandma Maud. Grandma Maud, you know I love you with everything in my heart. Everything I do is in consideration of you. You know that. Oh Cupid, bless your little heart. You've always been a kind soul. I appreciate your concern, dear. Let me have a little chat with Mr. Boomer and see what's what. That's the thing. I don't think Mr. Boomer is going to really entertain your conversation. I think you should just write a letter. Let me bring it to him. Make it make it very discreet. <laughs> oh, my stars. That does sound serious. Dear. You've always been so thoughtful. A discreet letter shall be. Thank you for holding out for dear old Grandma Maud. Of course, Grandma. Anything for you, you know. Just give me the letter and I'll send it to him. And be on my merry way. Chewing more love arrows. Here's the letter, darling. Now off you go. Work your love magic. Thank you for your kindness and help. Oh no. It's okay. She's the one breaking up though. That's fine. Oh my dear child, let's keep a whisper in my ear about your scandals ways. It's time for us to part ways. But don't worry, I'll still bring you your prime, your prune juice. Okay. She wanted to end it in a, in a, in a, in a, in a, you know. Look at him talking to Persophone. I knew it. Here, bitch. Uh -huh. What in tall nation is this nonsense? Keep it, grandma. That broke my heart. I fancy right. How do I go about telling her she can't go breaking up with me like some hooligan? Whoa. You got a long life ahead of you, Charles. I don't think you need grandma mode. I think you should really venture off into your own path. <laughs> you know what, QP? You're right. Grandma Ma ain't the only dame in town. It's time for me to strike out my own show. Whoa, yo. I don't like you, Charles. Don't do that to Grandma Ma like that, man. Uh oh. Uh oh. Here we go. <laughs> Cupid hinted at your scandalous ways, Charles A. Boomer. It's over. <laughs> Well, grab my this time. I venture off my own path. Good riddance. Damn. Look at everyone staring. Don't you dare turn your back on that cookie jar. Whoa. <laughs> on the cookie jar. Yo, grandma, chill. I've had enough of your cookies. I'm out of here. Whoa. She said, your pussy ain't good enough for me. Dang, grandma. Dang. You put your business out there, dude. Sheesh. Sheesh. Let's do two more and call it a vid. <clears throat> if we can successfully hit two more. Karen. I didn't even realize I was wearing the Cupid outfit. It's kind of working though. Yo, this is the hair. My go-to hair. Yeah. Let's go to Karen. Prince Charming. Uh-oh. Well, isn't Cupid just a little shrub, huh? At this Valentine party. Did you bring the extra arrows? I could use some some help find a perfect dessert how you doing today karen you're looking as fashionable as ever how was that amazing scandalous party you threw the other night remember she was starting to hold a party at the other one yes, no, i don't know what scandalous party you're talking about i demand to speak to your manager immediately Karen, no what wow i was the one that helped you plan it i guess whatever Look at Hades going crazy. Land a goose. Man, hey there, Cupid. Surpri oh, this, this is uh, Bella Goth. Or Bella, whatever. <laughs> Surprised to see you here, but I guess love is in the air tonight. How you doing, Blanda? You looking as bland as ever. How you doing tonight? <laughs> uh -huh. Oh, I'm just here with Edwin. How's your night going so far? It's going great, you know, just making sure the love is in the air. And to be honest, it doesn't seem Edwin's really happy to be here, which isn't that normal, but still. 
Really? Edwin usually keeps to himself, but I thought he was enjoying the party. Why do you think he's not happy? Uh, I don't know. I was trying to talk to him the other, like, a couple minutes ago, and he just wasn't really into it like he usually is. He kind of was like, I want to leave Bella. But I don't know. Oh, I said Bella, not Blanda. That's surprising. Edwin usually doesn't share much, so it's strange he said that. I wonder what's going on with him. If you ask me, I think he's been seeing other vampire girls, but you know, it could be just speculation. Oh, really? I never thought Evan would do that. Do you have any proof or is it just a feeling? Just him not acting like his usual self seems proof enough to me. And he keeps like disappearing every now and then. Isn't that kind of weird to you? Well, now that you mention it, Edwin has been more distant lately. Maybe I should talk to him about it and see what's going on. You know Edwin's not going to really talk about it like that. I really think you should just let your feelings out in the letter and let me deliver it to him. It'll be much easier that way for the both of you. I think, I think you're right. Maybe it's time to write that letter and see what things stand with Edwin. Thank you for your help, Cupid. Oh man. Oh man. And he he loved Edwin. She loved Edwin. Loved her. He. <laughs> Sorry, but I'm breaking up with you. Your brooding vampire vibes, mysterious disappearances, and love bites from other girls are just not working for me. Dang, Edwin. Look at him. Join the party. Too bad. What? I can't believe Blanda actually broke with me through a letter. I need to find, I need to go find her right and right now and confront her. What should I say when I see her? Just tell her how you really feel, man. I don't think, I don't think the relationship is working out for her or for you. I think y'all should just really go your separate ways and find like werewolves. <laughs> Thank you, Cupid. I appreciate your advice. It's time to have a serious talk with Blanda and let go of this toxic relationship. It's time to move on. Oh, shit. Uh oh, uh oh, Edwin, this is it. I can't take your brooding silence anymore. It's over. Uh oh, Blanda, this relationship was like a stake through my undead heart. We should end it and go our separate ways. Uh oh, finally, someone who appreciated my love for all the things dark and gloomy. Good riddance, Edwin. You'll never find a vampire like me, Blanda. You'll be lost in the sea of mundane mortals. Oh, please, Edwin. You think you're so special with your broody act? I'm better off without you living my best dark life. Nah. Well, see if you can handle the shadows without me, Blonda. Perhaps you stumble into the light of day and realize what you've lost. Dang. Dang. Mm-mm-mm. <laughs> Team, I'm, I've always been Team Jacob. Always been Team Jacob. Who else? Carol cares. Oh, Juliet. Let's do Juliet. <laughs> Hark, fair Cupid, thou art a delightful sight in this bed, this revel, revel, blah, blah, blah. How dost thou fancy bestowing love's arrows upon us this eve? Juliet, Juliet, Juliet. You are looking fabulous tonight. How are you doing? Keep with thy words do flatter me. I am well, thank thee. And how doth thy arrows fly this night? Well, as you can see, there's been a lot of breakups lately. Some arrows do have an expiration date, but you know, shooters gonna shoot. You know what I mean? <laughs> Breakups by my trot that is truly sad news. Dost thou believe that love's arrows truly hold an explanation date? That's only up to the user of the arrow. You know, how are you and Romeo doing nowadays? I know you guys have been going through a lot lately. Mm -hmm. Barely thou speakest true Romeo, and I have faced trials, but I love shall endure. Tell me, Cupid, thus thou perceive this in the stars for us. Uh oh. <clears throat> what, what, what was the two houses? It was like the. 
Dang. Well, Mercu Mer Mer Mercurio, Mercusio, 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 Mercusio. What was the dude's name? His best friend. Tell me, Q, what dost thou perceive in the stars for us? Um, I have seen Romeo talking to a lot of other girls tonight. How do, how do you fare? <laughs> My heart doth sing at thou art keep. I shall confirm Romeo and on seek clarity. Pray tell me truthfully, has thou had any will will towards our love? No, 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 Juliet. I have nothing but hope and love for you guys' relationship. It's just, you know, all I care about is you guys. Thy words been covered to mind, troubled heart, Cupid. This relief to know thou art but a guiding hand in the matters of the heart. I thank thee for thy care and guidance. Of course, anything for you, Juliet. I just, it's very suspicious that I saw Romeo buy a poison drink the other night. I don't know. My soul doth tremble thy words to speak truthfully. Dost thou mean to warn me of a dreadful, <laughs> dreadful fate? I don't know. I don't know, Juliet. It's just very suspicious of Romeo, and I really don't want you to get hurt by this. I really care about you. What do you think? How's Romeo been acting lately? Ah, has my heart been betwixt love and doubt? Romeo's actually in trouble, Green Bee. Yet, my love for him both endure. I shall investigate this further. Thank thee, keep it for thy concern. I really think you should cut it off before it's too late for you, Juliet. I really don't want you to get hurt, Juliet. Please, consider my warning. You should really break up with him. Oh, just going straight to it. Oh, cruel fate, thy words will me deeply, keep it. I shall ponder upon this dire warning. And far doth fear the sting of betrayal. Farewell. Dang it. Now we gotta find Romeo. <clears throat> Greetings, fair keeper. What merry mischief dost thou bring to this enchanting evening? Romeo, oh Romeo. You are looking fly tonight, my Bromeo. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Alas, keep it why just doth wound my soul. Farewell. I shall depart the what? What are you talking? I just You said that John was corny? Man, fuck you. Well, 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 look at you dress as keep it bring love and heartaches as always I see. Hades, my boy, Lord of the Underworld, how are you doing today, bro? You are looking as evil as ever. Smooth, I'm smooth. Spare me the flattery, Cuba. If you are here to stir up trouble, you'll find no welcome in my realm. No, 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 man. It's just been a while since I saw you. You looking good, man. How are you and Persephone doing? Persephone? Persephone. Persephone and I, we have our moments. She's always chasing adventure, craving sunlight, but who am I to stand in her way of her sp free spirit? <sighs> Speaking of chasing adventure, I may have saw Persephone cause a few breakups tonight. I don't know if you're aware of that. Breakups caused by Persephone? This new troubles me. Tell me more. What did you witness, Keep It? What was how was a girl name? Look, man, you know I care about you, but I saw her offering her flowers to many different people. Not those flowers, the flowers down there, if you know what I mean. Flowers on the underworld should not be distributed so carelessly. First off, it may have gone. Thank you for catching this to bring my to attention, Cupid. Look, I know you don't want this to be a whole event. You know, you just write a letter to her. Let me deliver it to her, make it low key. No drama involved, you know? Very well, Cupid. Delivered this letter to Persephone discreetly. It's time for a heart to heart about a relationship. <laughs> it always is with just write a letter, bro. Just come on. Just write a letter. 
<laughs> reckless scattering of flowers throughout the mortal realm and beyond has led a chaos led to chaos and a shortage in underworld i can no longer tolerate your floral mismanagement yo only because you talk about good she's a florist too that's, that's funny persophony you, here you go what in the underworld is this i must confront hades immediately should i be firm with him or try to plead with him girl be firm he's accusing you of of distributing your flowers when you're a florist nah don't don't hey give it to him ah. you're right cupid i'll stand my ground and let hades know the truth thank you for the advice yup yup stir the pot stir the pot stir the pot Mm-hmm. Persephone, your careless distribution of flowers from the cause underworld of humans has caused chaos and I cannot tolerate any longer. We are done. What? Hades, you've got it all wrong. I'm a florist. I didn't distribute any flowers from your underworld. How could you accuse me of such a thing? I think he misunderstood what I meant. Bye. Don't try to deceive me. The evidence is clear. And I will not stand for this betrayal any longer. Our relationship is over. Hades, I can't believe you would end things like this. I never meant to tr cause chaos. I just wanted to brighten people's days with my flowers. Ooh. Uh, well. It's too late for apologies, Persephone. You have crossed the line. Our love is lost in this with the underworld. Pharaoh, my former queen. Yikes. Hey, Hades, Bravo. please don't do this. I never wanted to hurt you. We can't find way through. Oh no, what have I done? I told you not to plead, girl. Stand on business. Yikes. Yikes, yikes. Yikes. Hey, hey there, Keeper. Really seem to see, ready to see me shoot some hearts with my arrows of love. Mulan, how are you doing tonight? I'm so ready to see you shoot some hearts with your arrows of love. I'm doing just fine, Cuba, but let me tell you, these arrows are not just for show. They qu pack quite a punch. I believe you. I believe you. I've seen what you've done. Taking out the the evildoers of the of the kingdom. You're doing great out there. What are they called? The Hulaos? The Hutaos? Oh Wait a minute. How do you know about my heroic deeds? And the, are you the spies? <laughs> are you a spy in the skies, Cupid? Um, no, there's movies about you and everything. You're all you're just you're, you don't know how famous you are. That's kind of crazy. Oh, yeah. Movies, are you telling me that's my life story turned to entertainment for the masses? That's unexpected. And what kind of adventures do they show me having? You know, the story of you having to take your father's place in the war so you can so he doesn't have to because he's old and stuff, you know. <laughs> so what do we have? What kind of conversation? Ah, yes, that's the story of my. F uh huh. It warms my heart to know that my tale has been touched by so many. Thank you for sharing, Cupid. Of course, of course, anything. You're such an inspiring human being. Have you seen Huntao lately? Huntao. Mama. Ha! Huh, not who. <laughs> and yes, I've seen him. Why do you ask about him, Cupid? Um, you saw how Persephone broke up with Hades because she was giving away her flowers. I think she gave some flowers to Han Tao. Uh oh. Why a giving flowers to Han Tao, huh? If he's expensive, then it's time I write him a letter and end things. Thanks for the heads up, keep it. Anytime. Oh shit, that's it. <laughs> shit. <laughs> Persephone is just a fucking catalyst for everything. I've seen you accepting flowers from Persephone, and I refuse to be with someone who can't stay faithful to a relationship because it is our breakup. He'll come back unless you're ready to be a real man. Oh. Oh. Here you go, buddy. Ah. What in the name of the ancestor is this treachery? I must go from Mulan Hua immediately. But where should I use to prove my loyalty and manliness when facing to her? Just stand on business, man. If you accept the flowers from her, just. 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 Stand on business. Take it like a man, bro. She wants a man. Be a man. Is that the anime girl? I will accept those talents, but I will stand on business like a true man. Mulan Hua will see my resolve and manliness. Uh oh. Does that mean you actually did it, bro? On top, I can't believe you accepting flowers from that two time Persephone. You've crossed the line. I'm done with your lies. Hello. 
Oh. Mulan Hua, this is no time for your childish antics. I have important business to attend, matters to attend to. It's time for you to act like a woman and accept my role. How dare you tell me to act like a woman? I am who I am, Han Tao. And I will not stand for your for your disrespect any longer. Consider this relationship over. Oh, no. If that's what you want, then so be it. I cannot be held back by someone who can't understand the importance of my duties. Goodbye, Mulan Hua. Hey. Mm -hmm. Good riddance, Han Tao. I'll find someone who appreciates me for who I am, not someone who vows flowers over our love. I'm moving I'm on. The, okay, yo. <clears throat> You're not trying to break up for real, bro. Bye. Don't make that such a, a achievement, bro. I'm breaking hearts out here. Mulan seems happy about it, though. No way that's the anime girl over here. Sakura Otakumi. Capture the twinkling light of love with these fireflies. Let the mesmerizing glow of these fireflies guide. <laughs> fly into the night with these fireflies. Let the love spark you fly and fill the air. You don't got a you don't got a man? I guess you don't got a man. Homer benign. And Juliet. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Six more. Okay, I'm gonna end it here. It's been almost an hour. I don't feel like editing that much. If I edit at all. <laughs> Maybe we won't continue this 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 wreckage of relationships. You know what I'm saying? Leave a like, comment, subscribe, all that. You know what I'm saying? Love y'all. Love y'all. Love y'all. Peace.